Welcome guys to another edition of Going to the Movies. Really excited for today because we are doing the locations from Twister. It's the 25th anniversary this week and we came out to Oklahoma to drive all over the state and hit all the locations. And right now, we are in one of the beginning scenes of the movie. After the scene where Helen Hunt's character is a little kid and her dad flies away in the tornado, they come here. Bill Paxton needs Helen Hunt to sign divorce papers so they can get divorced and he can marry Melissa, I think is her name, in the movie. And uh, this is the spot where you meet the whole gang. So. They come in, they, you see these uh, turquoise railings actually. Let me go over here real fast. I think I can at least walk a few steps in here without getting in trouble. But you'll see uh, uh, the truck turn in from about this angle and I'm standing on a cow pile right now. But luckily it's older so it's not gonna be a, a big cleanup. So they turn in from this angle. You see the, uh, the turquoise, they still use that color on their fencing. And then they go down this road and around that curve, but it's all shot from over there. So we're standing over here now and look at how this road curves to the left right here. And notice those two trees right there. We see this from the other angle and so it looks like it's all just in a big open field, but I believe the way everything was set up was Philip Seymour Hoffman's character was somewhere around here. And then it just went back farther and farther into where Helen Hunt's character was. And I'm not sure where that setup was. Maybe under that big tree back there. That one there. So when you're looking back, there's one shot where he walks past a guy and you can see this curve in the road. And you can kind of see up here, like where I'm standing. Those two trees are also in the background and there's a, a little shelter next to them. And I thought that was where the, uh, the truck with Dorothy was sitting, but it was actually farther back once I looked at it closer. And you can see how there's a fence running along the road. And then there's another fence going in this direction. So you can see this coming to a point here. That is visible in the background of some shots as well. So that fun intro to the gang scene, all shot right here in this big field. Could have been anywhere, but they did it right here. Virginia is taking the dogs out for a well-deserved leg stretch. It's been a long drive today, but we are here in Maysville, Oklahoma, the southernmost location we're gonna visit for Twister, about 30 minutes south of Oklahoma City. And this is where they filmed the cafe and the garage scene. You can see the garage is still here where uh, Bill Paxton goes to get his tire fixed, but the cafe, sadly, is not, but there's a bar here now. This is where they filmed that scene where he goes to get his tire fixed. They get in a little bit of an argument right here because Jonas has stolen the idea of Dorothy, made it his own, dot. And of course, we don't like him because he's in it for the money. And this is the 90s and we don't do things like that. We don't sell out. The, the rocket ship that I'm looking at right now, that can be seen in the background of one of the shots during that fight. After which, everyone goes inside to the cafe and Bill walks over here to check out the sky. And he picks up some dirt, sees which way it blows, and uh, we're going green. So as soon as he notices what the tornado is doing, they all take off after it. But I love that this spot is still here and now we're gonna go line up some shots. Okay, standing over here, we can see by using the poles in that radio tower, exactly where the cafe was standing. Yeah, that's where that rocket ship was. 
There's some shots where they cross the street and you can see uh, this house here in the background, but unfortunately these trees have grown up quite a bit. I'm gonna walk around here though and show you the shape of the house because it's pretty um, recognizable with that roof shape. So yeah, there's that house you see in the background, some shots when they're crossing the street. And then let's try to match up some angles from the garage. About right here, we can match a few things up. This is where Bill Paxton, he parked right about here. He's asking the guy how long it's gonna take to fix the tire. I think he said it was like 15 minutes. So fastest mechanic, or at least busiest mechanic. Um, but yeah, that's the angle. And then you can see, again, the cafe right about here. Let's rebuild it with editing technology. Okay, so I just spoke with a local who is from the area and he was here when they were filming and said that the cafe wasn't actually a set building and that you can actually still see the tiles here. This was the floor. They turned it into a bar after they filmed, but then the building got torn down at some point. But check that out. These tiles, I'm gonna have to look back in the movie to see if you can see the floor anywhere. Um, but that is pretty cool. Okay, one more iconic shot we gotta go check out is over here. I'm gonna try to match it up perfect. It's hard because it's just a road and a sign. So this is sort of the angle where he's standing. You can see uh, this sign right here matches up. There's a trailer now behind it and I believe that's where the people that own the garage currently, that's where they live. Maybe try to match this up a little bit better. The horizon's kind of right in the middle and he's standing about right where this road bends. And he drops some dirt. Let's go and see. Let's go and test. I don't know if I'm standing in the right spot, but. Looks good, no tornadoes today. One of the other iconic shots from the movie is when that truck turns this corner. So we're gonna try to recreate it. Virginia's gonna drive through. Yeah, not quite right, but we'll go, we'll go with that. But anyway, this is the curve where we go into um, see the first tornado from the movie. And we're gonna go down here uh, a bit and show you some of the other things that happen. So by this point, they've already driven over into the ditch. They're driving through the ditch right along here, which they dug for the movie and filled back in when they were done filming. But if you look over this way, the, the tree line here is where you can tell that CGI farmhouse was that the tornado went through. That was all right there. And then you used to be able to match up some silos in a, in a tree line up here, but an, an actual tornado came through. So I think it took the silos down. There's a there's like one or two trees over there. So it's hard to exactly match it, but it's over in this area. Okay, I finally found it. It took some finding because these trees are almost gone completely, but I used some older street view to figure out that this is where the bridge was built. And it's kind of a little um, ditch already, but the bridge was about right here. They say in that Google street view image, or I've seen some people say, that you can see the wood from the bridge, but I don't know if that's the wood from the movie because they cleaned up everything else so well. Why would they just leave that bridge? But anyways, they uh, they come out after the tornado goes right through them. And then they're wondering where the truck is and it falls upside down onto the ground, almost exactly where Virginia is sitting in the car. It's all roads and fields. 
for twister locations. It's kind of a challenging uh, location hunt to do. This is not the most memorable scene. It's an exciting scene, but I would say there's so many exciting scenes that this one is not probably at the top of anyone's list, but the two storm chasing teams are competing to go after this one particular tornado. The scene opens with the good guys driving down this road, which is perpendicular to the one I'm standing on. It's a helicopter shot and it's coming towards where we are. And it cuts the corner and then meets up with the bad guys vehicles and faces in this direction where you can see a tornado and you can still see those houses back there kind of where that tornado was and Bill Paxton and his team they catch up to carry Elvis's team but he starts to realize that the storm is doing something that all the fancy gadgets aren't recognizing and so he slams on brakes and that happened right about here and when it shows the car slamming on brakes, you can see that white house with the uh, structures beside it clearly. There was also one of those wind things. I forget what they call them, but uh, I wish I was still standing. It's not here though. Another quick cut as he's slamming on brakes shows you this silo here. And before he can turn left, he's got to back up because he's a little bit ahead of it. He backs up and then he turns down this road and then his team goes off to chase the tornado. Let's ride that tornado to the next location. Okay, right here is about the angle where you see them driving down to the water spouts. The sisters, the two water tornadoes that come from the left side, cross over and they bring a cow along with them for the ride and this is kind of where they drive up from. See, you can kind of match the road up with the shot from the movie. Now we're gonna go drive down to the bridge and see if there's anything we can match up. I am now looking back at where I was just standing and it appears what they did was they filmed them approach from this direction and then flipped it around here to make it look like they actually came from that direction. And looking at the screenshots, assuming they didn't just move the power lines to the other side of the road for whatever reason, then it appears that's what they did. And I definitely know they approached from that side because that one curves a completely different direction from up there. But this is where um, you would have seen the water spouts come from. CGI, of course, but they came from this direction. You can see, uh, you know, the edges of the lake right there, just as in the movie. What is this? Now, I just looked back at the screenshots again, and these telephone poles are different. Because the ones in the movie had the, the uh, thing at the top going across. But they were definitely looking in this direction where the water spouts came from because you see that part of the, uh, or this edge of the land jutting out here into the lake. And about right here, a cow flew by. I'm only saying about right here because this, uh, this road has been changed a lot since they filmed. And you can't really tell, I mean, I guess I could try to count the, Old, but it's a little difficult to figure it out, especially because it's raining in the scene. But the cow flies by. You see Helen Hunt say, there goes a cow. And then it flies in this direction, another cow. But probably the same one. All that out here on this beautiful lake. The sky's looking kind of scary. Could we possibly get a tornado? And we go from a cow being slung around in the air to steak and eggs at Aunt Meg's house. So Wakita is where we are going next. We're gonna visit the, uh, the Twister Museum. We'll 
do that in a separate video. But everything in Waikito where they filmed, I'm gonna show you. So let's go to Aunt Meg's. If you're looking for Aunt Meg's house, it is right at the corner of Apache and Elm Street. And it was certainly a nightmare for Aunt Meg when her home was destroyed, right here. And I don't know where exactly the house was standing perfectly. I'll try to recreate it with some uh, dissolves and whatnot. There was a house, her shed, which I don't know if it was here or on the other side of this small tree line. I think it may have been on the other side of it because the house that you can see in the film is right there. So there's some space. There's that cement thing that I know has to be a clue. And then the open space here. This is where the team pulls up. They're coming to Aunt Meg's to get some steak and eggs. And one of the greatest lines in cinematic history was spoken right here. He's gonna rue the day he came up against the extreme, baby. There we are. Amen, man. I'm talking imminent ruage. All right, so I'm matching the angle up the best I can with what I've got to work with. I don't think the tree there on the corner was there. It might have been, but I couldn't match it up in any of the screenshots. One thing you can see is the uh, intersection there at the corner and the water tower peeking out over the trees as they run up and hug Meg here. So looking at the opposite angle, there is a house still here. That was there in the movie. That's in the background of Aunt Meg's house in the shot where they're all leaving and there's like this sweeping, I guess it's like some sort of crane shot. It looks like a helicopter shot really low to the ground, but comes across here, passes a tree and you see her standing there as they leave in the house right there. Easily visible right in the background as Aunt Meg stands somewhere in this area. Okay, hopefully it'll focus through this glare, but as you can see on this top picture right here, this is before the movie came. So it was deteriorating, it was kind of falling apart. It wasn't worth the money to fix it. And again, that's why Warner Brothers said, hey, we'll come tear your, uh, your old houses down. There we go. We'll go tear your old houses down and then we'll clean it up for you. And then they fixed it up for the movie because it needed to look like it was a nice house before tearing it down. So we got some uh, remnants here, not remnants, but things to help you remember what was standing here at one time. We got some wind chimes and a little garden back here. Look at the sign back there. Telling about where Aunt Meg's house is. And fresh from the farm with the cow. The cow disrespect just continues. We should change her name to Babyface Meg Nelson. A couple of benches out here so you can relax and enjoy the calm after the storm. Before Our Brother Where Art Thou, there wasn't a movie more disrespectful towards cows than Twister. So I had to stop and say hey to these guys. I love cows. They are really cool. Hey buddy. There's his brand. Danny Wright. Have a good day. Bye. Look at the babies. Okay, right now we're standing in front of the Beacon Drive-In Theater in Guthrie, Oklahoma, which is the town where they shot the drive-in sequence from Twister. And a lot of people will assume that they shot it here because it's a drive-in in, in Guthrie, but they didn't. If you remember, they destroyed the drive-in theater and this one is still a functioning drive-in theater. So they filmed that um, over in that direction. They built the whole set and they used as much practical effects as they could. So let's go show you where they actually filmed 
the drive-in sequence. This is where they filmed the drive-in scene. It's one of my favorite scenes in the movie and I'm gonna take the camera because I'm gonna walk around and show you exactly where everything was. This corner right here is where the garage was. It was an airplane hangar car garage. This was a road that went in between the burger restaurant and the drive-in movie theater where you could see The Shining playing on a screen about right here. Remember, all for the movie, there never was an actual drive-in here because they had to destroy everything. There's a uh, quick pan and there's trees blocking all of our like confirmation shots, but there's a quick pan from when they noticed the tornado coming or when the storm is uh, starting. Uh, it goes from the screen down to Helen Hunt here and you can see these silos in the background. There are other silos standing here but you can see these clearly. Well not clearly, it's kind of fast but if you go frame by frame you'll see these eight silos. There's two rows of four and then this smaller drum thing here. And it was kind of hard to figure out where this spot was because, well, it wasn't hard to figure it out. It's, it's in old newspapers and in certain places online, but it was hard to orient where exactly everything was. The way I figured it out was, well, I had to keep looking down different roads like this and comparing what I could compare. And finally, we realized this brick building was here in the movie. You see um, Bill Paxton walk across this street because the motel was back there where that train is sitting right now. And I believe where the growth is here, I think the porch that was attached to this house was actually a facade because the windows and doors don't quite match to what the front of this building looked like in the movie. But you can tell it's the same because it's got this electrical box here and also there's a little lip and I really wish that tree wasn't in the way because then I could line it up perfectly with the shot from the movie. But right where the porch ends, there is a lip on the edge of the roof that goes out a little bit farther and it's right there. See how it comes down and then goes across, continues across. So yeah, the porch gone. Again, my guess is that that was a facade because this was a door and if you look at it now through the tree, there's like a little tiny square window. And then the front. is a door that doesn't touch the ground. So yeah, there was either stairs or a porch. Maybe it wasn't a facade. And look at that. Just completely open and abandoned. The Sinclair building here in Guthrie, Oklahoma. And here was the burger joint where Helen Hunt went to get eight coffees. And I, I always laugh at this scene because she walks up to the window. She orders eight coffees from a burger restaurant and the girl working there is like, eight? Hey because she's like, why are you ordering so much coffee? This is a greasy spoon restaurant. All right, that's gonna do it for the Twister Locations video. That was a blast. This is one of those ones where the locations are spread everywhere, so it was a lot of driving. Hard to fit other things in, but that's okay, um, because seeing these locations was pretty amazing. It's one of those movies that was always on everyone's TV when I was a kid. Everyone had the VHS in their collection, and uh, you know what? We're not done yet, because there's a bunch of locations in Iowa, so consider this a part one, and we'll be back next time for Twister Locations, part two, whenever we make it out to Iowa. Uh, until then, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.